In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock a scene button. Now you might ask why you would want to do that. It's really quite simple. You may have set up some very precise scenes and you just simply don't want anybody to record over them. To do this, I'm going to use the LMCT100 and the button configuration menu. I'm going to start by pointing the CT100 at the switch, pressing select, and you'll notice that all the LEDs on the buttons have started to blink. I'm going to select one button that we're going to lock, and I'm going to continue to point the CT at the switch while I press the button. Now that has just sent all that button's information over to the CT. I'm going to go ahead and use the navigation keys, and I'm going to arrow down to the lock button field. I'm going to use the right or the left arrow to change the value from no to yes. And then we're going to arrow down to send and we're going to point the CT at the switch and we're going to send that information back to the switch. So that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and see what we've done. I'm going to go ahead and change some light values here just to give us something different. And I'm going to try to, to re-record scene one. I'm going to press and hold for at least five seconds. Now you know that the LED should start blinking and it is not. It is not letting me save over scene one because that button is now locked. Now notice I said button and not scene. Now over here we have another scene switch and if I were to press and hold button over here for five seconds you'll notice that it starts blinking and I have actually saved that scene over here. I go ahead and turn off the lights and turn on the new scene over here. So that's an important concept. We lock the button, not the scene. I hope this was helpful.